open the software, we can enter this interface. If our keyboard is properly connected to the software, the software will line up the corresponding keyboard model. If I use Snowfox, this icon will line up. Because I'm using Shadow now, the corresponding icon is lit. The lower left corner of the icon can display the battery status of our keyboard. As it shows red now, it means that our keyboard is almost dead now. We can also check the battery usage by holding down Fn and observing the way the right odds light up. If the right odds is red, it means that the battery is almost dead. If it's yellow, it means that the keyboard is charging. If the color changes with the light effect of the keyboard, which means that our keyboard is already fully charged. Here is a video. This video is mainly for a brief introduction of our product, which can help everyone to have a general understanding of our Kimu DK61. We can see these icons in the lower left corner. Click on this house-shaped icon to directly enter our official forum. There are many customers on the forum post their experience and sharing of our keyboard. After clicking this icon, you can enter our official website. Click on the bell in the upper right corner to enter our software and firmware version details page. You can see the current version of our software and keyboard firmware on this page. We can select this drop-down box to switch software and firmware. If our software is not the latest version, the update button will line up and we can upgrade by ourselves by pressing the update. We switch to the firmware page. If the firmware is not the latest version, the update button will also line up and we can also press the update button to upgrade. We can enter the software language selection page by pressing the gear button in the upper right corner. Our software is available in English and Chinese language. And this button is mainly to choose whether the software will start automatically when the computer is turned on. If you don't want the software to start with the computer, we can turn off this option. This default button can reset our software operation. If we need to invalidate all previous software operations, just press default and then save. Okay, now we enter the software editing interface. You can enter the software editing interface by pressing the corresponding lit software keyboard icon. If we want to return to the star interface, just click the icon in the upper left corner to return to the star interface. Okay, the toolbar on the right side of the setting column can help us editing the modules below. For example, the system lighting effect setting interface is on now. When we use this toolbar, we can set the system lighting effect interface. The plus in the toolbar is to add. I click add now. You will see I add a light effect to the lighting system. This icon in the toolbar is to output, which is to export and save the lighting effects we have done to our computer. We can use this function to back up the lighting effects we have done. And this key is the import key. We can import the lighting effects made by us or others into our keyboard. And this key is the delete key. We select this layer and press the delete button again and we can find that the lighting effect has been delayed. It is the same in this drawing module. We can also import and export in this setting toolbar. And these three logos correspond to the three modules part. This module is mainly for editing system lighting effects. System lighting effects can only be used when our software is open. The system lighting effect is not stored in the keyboard, but in the software. This module is mainly for editing and saving keyboard, mapping key combinations, and macro saving applications. It can also be called a driver layer module. This interface is our macro editing interface. We can edit the macro in this interface. But for this module, we haven't developed yet. We also have a module for editing custom lighting effects. This lighting effect is directly saved on the keyboard. We can directly enter the custom lighting effects editing interface by pressing the editing key. After we customize the lighting effect, we can also press Fn plus this key to switch the custom lighting effect. And 
and we can press the logo of corresponding modules to jump directly to the editing interface of the corresponding modules.